All right, so we do have some news here. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is a representative from New York's 14th District, it has said that she will indeed sign on to Rashida Tlaib's impeachment resolution. Now, this impeachment resolution has come up uh, right after the Mueller report, which was heavily redacted, by the way, was released. So a lot of the stuff was still blacked out. And so we got to see a lot of the Mueller report. There were a lot of damning things inside of the Mueller report, including that we know that San uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders had lied to the press about her claim that uh, you know there was a bunch of FBI people who had no confidence in Comey and wanted him out, and that was a total bogus sham. Uh, we also know that he basically came to the conclusion that he didn't uh, you know, go after Don Jr. because he was too stupid to commit uh, a crime of, of collusion, uh, any sort of crime that has to deal with collusion. But most importantly, really what it had said was is that Trump did indeed attempt to obstruct justice, but the reason why it didn't happen is because his aides decided not to help him. So there were a lot of times where they just, you know, wouldn't do what they want to do, and it's there are multiple cases of that cited in the Mueller report. So uh, we know that uh, Trump, I guess, had told Don McGahn to say that Mueller has a conflict of interest and to then cancel off his, uh, you know, his special counsel position. So uh, this article from The Hill says, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said Thursday she would sign on to a resolution calling for an investigation into whether President Trump should be impeached, citing special counsel Robert Mueller's report in her decision-making. Quote, Mueller's report is clear in pointing to Congress's responsibility in investigating obstruction of justice by the president, she tweeted. It is our job outlined in Article 1, Section 2, Clause 5 of the U.S. Constitution, the progressive lawmaker added, as such, I'll be signing on to Rashida Tlaib's uh, impeachment resolution. So she will be signing on to this resolution. Uh, this is a pretty big thing, okay, because obstruction of justice is no joke. It's entirely an impeachable offense. It's actually what the House had impeached Richard Nixon for. Now, remember that uh, Nixon had, I guess, resigned right before um, it had gotten to the Senate. Um, and so they had brought up charges of, I believe they said, abuse of power, obstruction of justice, and a couple of other things as well. But Nixon resigned. Now, we know Trump's obviously not going to do that. Now, the Congress is majority, the House is majority Democrat, actually. But it's going to be tough to be able to actually get everyone on board. In fact, it's virtually impossible because Nancy Pelosi recently said that it wasn't worth pursuing. Uh, I think whip, Democratic whip. Uh, Steny Hoyer has said that he's he doesn't want to pursue it either. And so, surprisingly, it ends up falling upon Rashida Tlaib, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and I believe Ilhan Omar had signed on to this as well, which is very interesting, definitely not expected. Now, is Trump impeachable for that offense? And also, for in vi being in violation of the Emoluments Clause, which is a clause of the Constitution which says that the president cannot gain foreign gain gifts from foreign leaders, gifts from foreign leaders, and he's had the Saudis coming into his hotels, funneling him cash, and, uh, you know, he was being sold access to the Chinese by the owner of the massage parlor that Robert Kraft got busted for soliciting sex in, and so he's definitely impeachable, certainly, uh, but the question becomes politically, is it a good idea to do that? Because do we want a President Pence? I think not. So it's a sort of a, a rock and a hard place type of situation. And I'm really not sure as to whether or not it's worth doing it. Because I, I think a President Pence would be far worse than Donald Trump. Because President Pence would be a lot more competent than Donald Trump. So I think that it should not be pursued. Although I certainly agree that what Donald Trump has done is certainly impeachable.